This is going to be a pretty quick guide for just enough items. That is the mod that shows you all of these recipes on the right hand side of your screen. And it can do more than what you think. So, as you can see here, we can flick through the pages and see all of the recipes added by Vanilla Minecraft and also any mods that we have installed. So, how do we see the recipe of how to make things? Well, you simply hover over an item and press R for Romeo on your keyboard. For example, the savaging table or salvaging table from Apotheosis, I hover over it and I press R on my keyboard and it shows me the crafting recipe for that item. If you want to show the uses for an item, for example, this gem here, I can hover over it and press U. So R for recipe, U for uses. And what this shows me is all the use cases for this item. So I can show all the recipes I can make with the item rather than how to make the item. I can also actually toggle off this whole interface if I want by holding down Control and O for octagon on my keyboard. So Control and O will actually disable the whole item um, overlay. And then what we can also do is hold control and click this little um, spanner option and that will enable cheat mode or not. So control and left click will open the cheat mode. So if it's turned off and the spanner is gray or the wrench is gray, then I click on stuff and it will just show me the recipe. However, if I control click and then click on the item, I'll be able to click and drag that to my inventory and actually cheat it into the game. I can also drag things, well, click and then drag and delete things from my inventory this way as well. The same way in that I can left click to actually see the recipes when not in cheat mode, I can also right click to see the uses as well. You can also use the scroll wheel to scroll through the pages that we have here on screen in Just Enough Items. We can also use the search bar to search for items and you can actually do control and F for Foxtrot on your keyboard as well, which will automatically start the search. So if I'm clicked here and I type, nothing really happens. If I press control and F, I can then, con I can then search in the search bar, maybe for tank and it will show me everything with the name tank in the name. To clear the search bar, all I have to do is right click and it will, it will get rid of it. Or if you can press backspace and delete it letter by letter. Maybe, for example, we want to search by a specific mod. Well, I can do Shift and A, so the at sign, and then put Mechanism. And what that will show me is everything only in the Mechanism mod. I can then do at Mechanism, Space, and Tank, and it will show me all of the tanks, but only tanks from Mechanism. You can also do this the opposite way. Maybe I've put in tank in my search and I go, actually, I don't want to search for these Zycraft machines tanks. I just want to see mechanism. Well, I can actually do tank and then go at mech. So you don't have to put in the whole thing. I could just put in mech for mechanism um, and it will show me all of the tanks and mechanism that way as well. So you can do it either way that you like. If you want to do search terms that have spaces in them, you can put the speech marks around it. So I can put B space L and then close it and it will show me search terms that have those in between. So as you can see, the, the, the B and L here is from the end of cob, so it's B, and then the L for loaf, cob loaf. Whereas if I just put in B slash space L like this, then it will show me a hell of a lot more. You can also search by the or dictionary, which is getting a bit more advanced now by putting a dollar sign. So I can say um, dollar sign or and this will show you my or dictionary for ors. Um, it does have some other stuff too, because this is in the or this is in the or dictionary for these items. Or I could put in here um, iron, so dollar sign iron, and it shows me everything that has iron in the or dictionary. You can also put multiple search terms together. So I'm going to put a speech mark, and I'm going to say wrench which obviously brings up just two items, which is the wrench. And then I use this one. So this is next to shift on the left of my keyboard, which is this line. I do shift and then this one, um, which is like, it looks like an L. So it's, it's next to Z and shift on my keyboard and I use shift to do it. And then I don't know what that's actually called. And then I can say wood. And then it's basically going to look for wrenches, but also wood. So I'm basically doing two searches in one. And I can add another one. I can then say, I can add another line and then say 
tank and it will show me all tanks as well but it's still showing me wood and also wrenches so there's three different search terms that i'm searching for here what we can then do is go shift control and left and then control and c to copy and i can copy that entire search term so i can then control and v to paste that search term so i can have it to hand whenever i need with copy and paste and there we go that is how we can use just enough items in Minecraft. There is one other feature I want to show you, which is, I've just forgotten, I've just noticed, um, and that is actually bookmarking. So I can hover over something and press A, and it will actually bookmark it on the left here. And I can press A again to get rid of that bookmark. You can also enable or disable bookmarks um, by opening this little bookmark button on the bottom left. So if I want to save a recipe for later, I can just press A and save all of these on the left-hand side so they're always there when I need them.